All right, there's no way EA let me down today. Am I right, boys? Am I right, guys? Let's see what we do. Hello? Uh. Okay, wait. Foot what if players are eligible for a one-time plus 282 overall upgrade based on their team fulfilling real-life scenarios. Attackers and midfielders upgrade at the players club score at least six goals in their five domestic league matches. Okay. Defenders and goalkeepers upgrade if the players club keeps at least one clean sheet in their next five domestic league matches. What if upgrade tracking for each player starts after the item is released in foot? This is glitched. So, wait, so the leak was an actually a leak? It was like an actual thing? What do we have for objectives? Do we have who I think we have? No, we don't. We have, wow, we have Caputo who's, okay. All right, what I'm going to say is, man, let's see. So Caputo, 87 rated what if card. So, I mean, this is cool because it's an upgraded, upgradable one, right? And he plays for what, Sass is that Sassuolo? I'm not sure if that's Sassuolo, but score two. Ooh, difference maker. So a new foot friendly. Score two outside the box goals. These are actually kind of difficult. I'm not going to lie. Um, assist in three separate matches. Score five goals using Serie A players. Win four matches and score. In That's actually not that difficult. What I'm going to say is, right off the bat, the card doesn't look insane. But considering it's pretty easy and it's only 10 matches, compared to like the 15 and like the 16 and 18 matches you have to play for other things, it's not that bad. And then the new friendly is this one. Bronze players minimum four. Okay. What I will say is using bronze... Oh, God. Bronze pack method is going to be crazy. Silvers are going to go crazy as well. But that's fine because I have a bunch of silver stars. But four bronze players is not easy, man. That is not easy. We will have... Damn. All right, dude. So it's a score two outside the box goals using silver cards. And you have, oh God, oh God. You have to use silver Serie A players. Oh man, EA, I don't know about that. Okay, well, it's, it's I, uh, what I will say is I do kind of like it because it is something different and you get to use different cards. So I will give them that dub. So this Rafinha was, actually like a concept by someone he still has three star weak foot which is a big downside um but this was a concept by someone in the community and it ended up being real people thought it was a leak but it's actually real so what i will say is passing is solid shooting is solid for a winger good pace very good physical stats actually wow that's surprising and then dribbling stats are to the point where they're good they're not insane they're good but it can be boosted to be very very great um no really really no um no no traits Nine days to do this, what I say for this one, it has to be max. Same thing as Tony Kroos, 83, 84, 85. 83, 84, 85, if it's more than that, I think it's too expensive. 83, 85, eight, oh my god. So instead of an 84, it's an 85, and instead of the 85, it's an 86. So this is like 300K. This is gonna be pushing the 400, that is a little too much. I'm not going to lie, it's a little too much. We have the What If Challenge for a Gold Players Pack. Um, that's a little too much for me, man. And then we got the Mid Icon Upgrade, which has returned. What do we have for this? 85, 86, 86? Uh, no, I, I, would, I would stay away from that, man. Do not do that. If, you, if you're if you thinking of doing that, do not do that. I do not think it's worth it. I have no idea what is even in packs. I don't. I haven't even seen the team. Can I see the team in um, in news? Can we see the team? I kind of want to uh, look at it, look through it with you guys. But item releases. Okay, there we go. So we do have Ingolo Conte, which is sick. We have Jaden Sancho. That dynamic image is from last week. I'm looking from top to bottom. I haven't seen the last players. I'm looking one by one. So Conte looks awesome. Sancho looks awesome. Um, Alejandro Gomez looks crazy, crazy good. If that card gets an upgrade, he's going to be great. Marcelo looks solid. Not great because of the pace. Small. Yo, that smalling card is sick 
Yo, throwback to FIFA, what, 18 or whatever it was? We have Martin Odegaard, which is a super cool card to have. That's the dynamic image that I use as well for my prediction. Yuri Berchiche looks like an incredible left back. Once again, man, very good attacking fullback as well. Pereira um, looks like a very good uh, like center mid, box-to-box -box type player. Yavich, which is awesome to see, man. Him having a special card is great. Lee's Melu, which isn't anything too... Actually, if you put a shadow, it's not that bad of a card. And we have Mabumba Baby, Mabu um, Mbabu who looks like an incredible, incredible right back. Yo, shout out to EA, man. Shout out to EA. All right, boys. I have a 100K pack. I have a 125K pack to open from my milestones. So we're going to open these right now, and we're going to see if I can pack anything decent, anything exciting. And I've been saving these since um, since Monday, I believe it was, or last week or something like that, something sometime during the week. So we have two, K, uh, two, two, two packs to open. Um, but one thing I want to do actually is actually <laughs> give me one second. I want to see if I can take a look at the new uh, cards. I don't think I they they probably don't have it here yet. Do they? No, they don't have it here. So I'm right, right? They don't have it here. Okay. So let's go take a look at them one by one. Give me one second. All right. So I just noticed, man, while bringing these cards here, we have new prime icon moments as well. So we're gonna take a look at those. The sh oh, the Shrine Stagger, man. We're gonna take a look at those, man. Those are so sick. So medium high work rates on uh, on Conte, just insane, dude. Those defensive stats, that agility and balance. Oh man, that card's disgusting in my opinion. Shooting needs to be boosted a little bit on Sancho. I, I would just put a hunter on him and, and call it a day. That's a sick card as well. Does he have any uh, anything upgraded as well? So he's five star skills, three star weak foot. My nose itches, bro. Finesse shot and outside the foot shot trait, which is cool. My nose still itches. We have Yuri Bear Chiche out. Um, who once again, man. This is a very good left back. This is a good left back. I I, I really like that left back. Uh, we have Martin Odegaard, medium medium work rates, three star weak foot, a solid card as well. I can put a hunter on him, and he will be that all round playmaker for you. I think he used to have two star weak foot, so that might be a boost. Uh, we have Chris Smalling, who I'm super happy to have. Man, that card looks crazy crazy good. I would love to use that card a little low on the acceleration, so you probably still want to put a shadow on him or an anchor to boost the physical stats to max. But that's a very good card. Alejandro Gomez, once again, shooting needs to be boosted. I, I would just put a dead eye on this card, and you have yourself an incredible, incredible cam at 4-star, four 4-star, four who's most likely going to get upgraded, in my opinion, because Sevilla do play very well. This is a very good card. Slap an engine on him. Shooting's already good enough. Long shots could be boosted. You don't have to. Uh, he has outside the foot shot traits. Very, very good card, man. This is going to be a very underrated card, in my opinion. And we have Mbabu, who looks like... Probably, dude, I'm saying this right now. This is probably going to be the best right back in the game. This is going to be the best right back in the game. His body type, his regular card is good enough. There's nothing bad about this card at all. The only thing that needs to be boosted is interceptions. You put a sentinel on him and you are set. You don't even need to put a sentinel. You can boost the dribbling, whatever you want. This is going to be the best fullback in the game, in my opinion. We have Lee's Malou, 4 star, 4 star, high, high work rates. That's a decent midfielder. Um, agility and balance is a little low, but it, it is, it's kind of like a whatever card. So we do have those. And we also have new Prime Icon moments, which I'm really excited about, man. We have some awesome, awesome, awesome um, new dynamic images. So let's take a look. So we have Ronaldinho, who's new. 95 Ronaldinho, 5-star skills, 4-star weak fit, man. This is my dream card, man. I would love to pack that card more than literally anyone else here. We have Rude Hullet, whose dynamic image looks awesome once again. And that card, 95 finishing, 98 shot power. Imagine having that card, bro. Who else do we have? We have Maradon, a 98. So he's the highest rated player so far in this game. Wow. Man, RIP to him, bro. An absolute legend. That card looks crazy as well. His physical stats aren't great, but that card looks insane. We have Lothar Mateus as well, um, who's a new... Do we have... Yeah, yeah, he's new. 94 rated and 3-star, 4-star. And this is going to be one of the best box-to-box -box midfielders in the entire game. Game. I don't even know we have anyone else new Cantona Cantona that's the Man United top right that looks awesome as well five star four star actually has a bit of pace on him now put an engine on this card and you have a forward a cam for the rest of the year we have Xavi here high high four star three star and ooh ooh you could use him as a box to box huh that dribbling those dribbling and passing stats are crazy. Those dribbling passing stats are crazy, as they should be. We have George Best as well, I think. Is this a card new? 
I don't think this is a new card. I don't think this is a new card, but this is a super cool dynamic image. I did not see that last time. Uh, Burkamp, no, no, no. I want to see Bobby Moore. Where's Bobby Moore and uh, Schweinsteiger? That, that Eto card looks insane, by the way. 98 pace, 95 shooting, 93 shooting, 84 physical. That is an insane card. This Bobby Moore dynamic image is so, so sick. He's not a good card. He's never going to be a good card, but that dynamic image just looks so, so, so awesome. That uh, Kenny Dalgalish as well, dynamic image looks... Oh, man, these dynamic images that they have picked are honestly super, super cool. And then this, this is... Dude, this is going to be one of the best dynamic images ever. Ever, 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 ever. Put a shadow... Oh, my God. Dude, so him and Ronaldinho, for me, for me, I would do anything to just pack... A Schweinsteiger, a Ronaldinho, those two are the guys that I would want the most, man. Those are awesome cards, man. Those are awesome cards. Shout out to EA, man. I think they did a very good job uh, choosing the, the the dynamic images. And I think that's going to be it, man. We have a left left wing back Zanetti as well, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, we have another left back icon, which we don't really have that many options of. So having another left back is very, very useful. But we have a 100k pack and a 125k pack. And we're going to start off with a 100k pack. Here we go, EA Sports. I waited, I waited, I waited. Is it going to be worth it? I got my answer. I got my answer. Am I going to have to discard these guys? I think if I discard these guys, I really don't care. Oh my god. Had a boar. Gentuzi. Dest. Alright, alright boys, get gulagged. I really don't care. It doesn't really matter. There's no upgrade packs out as well, and we have a 125k pack. Please just a walkout. Please just a walkout. It's just a normal gold card. It's gonna be like, don't be ter state. Don't. Who's that? Hummels. Oh man. Oh boy, that was so underwhelming. That was so underwhelming. Wow, that is a crazy pack to have, but. That was underwhelming. All right, boys, that is going to be where I will end it then. A lot of new content for today. A lot of what-if players that are awesome. A new objective, a new SPC, which looks expensive as hell. Um, and a 100k pack, a 125k pack that didn't pay out. And some new Prime Icon moments, which look absolutely awesome in my opinion. But that is going to be it, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next video. I'm Nesk Day.